I've been searching for a very special GoPro Hero session mount for the iFlight DC5, but I can't seem to find anything to print. Even if I search just for GoPro, we see a couple of full-size heroes, but not too many. And even we can search for XL5, they're all the same. Yeah, so we see a couple of different ones. And these are all session mounts that load from the side. And trying to load a session with a ND filter from the side is very difficult. Not to mention, once you load the session, you have to remove it in order to change the ND filter. So definitely quite a pain. So when you download a file from Thingiverse, most designers will just give you an STL file that you can print. They don't provide you with any of the uh, CAD files or anything like that. So your opportunity to manipulate the file is quite limited. But this software here allows you to manipulate these STLs, combine them and so forth. So what we're gonna to try to do here is design our own session mount. First thing you have to do is go to meshmixer.com and download the software, and this is a free software. Once you have your software here, the next piece is to find the STL files that you wanna manipulate. So here you can see I have two files. They're two different GoPro session mounts. So one is made for the XL5, which is the same as a DC5 and the other is just some other um, session mount I found that has a front loading session. So you can see here, this loads from the front. First thing we wanna do is we wanna launch our mesh mixer. And then we can just drag the first file in. I'll start with our DC5 file. Okay, it came through halfway in the build plane, okay. So we'll go edit, uh, transform, we'll pull it out of here. And then we want to, we're gonna go edit, we want to do a plane cut. And this will actually take an imaginary plane and remove everything after this plane. So we can see here, as I move this, part of the actual GoPro mount disappears. So we'll use this to cut the base off of our GoPro mount. Because we want the DC5 base. And it's gonna be a little bit tricky and a little bit finicky, so you need to take your time here. We can see I've cut it at an angle. We need to make sure this is nice and straight. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. Yeah, so we have a nice cut, everything is green. All right, so we'll click accept. And now we see all we have left over is the base here. So now I wanna go edit, uh, transform again, because as we can see, it's not in the angle we want. So we want to spin it. Okay, so I'm gonna spin it 90 degrees. And I can already tell the angle is probably not right, so we'll just prepare this for the next step. Okay, that looks pretty good. We'll move it off to the side here. Perfect, except now the next thing you want to do is bring our actual session mount. So all we got to do here is drag our next file in. You want to replace a pen with a pen. Okay, so now we've got our two objects and we have an object browser. Let's just choose between the two of them. So now we want to work on the second object. So this guy here, we need to chop off the mount so very similarly, we'll go edit, uh, transform. Just give me some more space here. Okay. And then I'm gonna go to blank cut. All right, other way around. I 
again, you want to make sure that you're cutting it the right angle. Okay, it looks pretty good because when I check, I see a little bit of the front is being cut, a little bit of the back is being cut. Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, so now we want to get rid of the whole mount. So bring it up. Okay, the front is gone. The back is gone as well. All right, so accept. So now we've got a mountless session mount here. Okay, I don't like that there, so I'll get rid of that as well. So another uh, plain cut. Uh, so many arrows here, which one do I want? Green. So I wanna go as close to 90 as I can. Okay, 90. Oh. All right, so I wanna get rid of just the thing that says 20. Oh, I got the wrong way. Okay, hold on. I need to go other 90. Now we'll move it in so we can see that the 20 is gone, but we're losing the back as well. It looks pretty straight. Um, okay, so let's go maybe a little tiny bit at an angle. Okay, that's pretty good. So a little bit of trial and error, but there we go. So now accept, and that 20 degrees is gone. So now what we wanna do here is we want to put them together. So I'm gonna select this guy, I'm gonna say transform, and then now we're going to try to line them up as best as we can. Okay, so this one's already in the center, so actually we want to transform this guy. This guy here, we want to go edit, transform, and then I'm just going to move it, I'm going to move it here, move it in. Oops. Okay, move it back, move it down. Okay, so we can see we've got um, a bit of an angle issue here. So we're going to have to Try to line up the angles. That looks pretty good. So I'm move closer. That looks pretty good. Alright, how's our alignment here? So a little bit off, we'll move it a little bit closer. Okay, that looks pretty good. Oh, our holes are blocked, so then you go a little bit lower. Something like that should be good. Okay, so now our front is too close. Okay, so... Okay, we're gonna have to get this out of the way for a second. And now we need to modify this here. So we're gonna go to select. Um, less so. Okay, so I'm gonna try to select just the front here. We missed some. Okay, let's try with the brush. So all I'm trying to do is select the front so I can chop it. And move it to the side too. Okay, that should be good. So now, very important, you don't click on edit here, you click on edit here and you say plain cut again. And by doing the selection, we're only going to cut the ones that we selected. So you see how when I go down here, this is not being cut. And that's the whole point of the selection. So what I want to do is 
just cut it a little bit. And maybe I'll give it um, a little bit of the angle like this. And I suspect that should be good. Okay, accept. And now it's all screwed up, but, but that's fine. We'll come back and fix it. Edit, make solid. Okay, we can work with that. We have to just chop this piece off here. Okay, hey again, let's try it once more. Delete, 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 select, select, select. Oh, there we go, that's why. We got our plane backwards. Okay, good. So now we'll do again, edit, make solid. So this looks quite jagged, but, but ignore that for now. Okay, let's check once more. So now if I come here and I do a edit transform, how does this look? Now at the front, we have plenty of space. I think that's good for getting screws in. At the back, we have a good amount of space. Maybe I'll bring it a little bit lower. A little tiny bit lower. Okay, front should be good. Back should be good. This looks like it is fairly well aligned. We're going to do a inspection on this. Okay, so it's found the hole, so I'm just going to repair the hole. So now we want to select these objects and we want to go and combine. So now we see that these are combined together. And then once we combine them together, we want to now go to make solid. Okay, so now they've been kind of fused. That almost looks like they've been welded together. And that looks kind of ugly. So this is what we're gonna do, and I've been playing around with this a little bit. But what we'll do is we'll go under Sculpt, Brushes, and I like to use the Bubble Smooth. So for example, over here, I'm just gonna go and smooth out a little bit. Same with over here. So we just kind of smooth it out. Smooth it out. Oh, it's too big. Undo. Okay, we need to make our brush size a little bit smaller. All right. So let's fix here. And let's fix here because here is really screwed up. along that seam. Okay. Pretty good. 
Okay, so let's uh, export it. All right, so there it is. All right, so how do I want to print this? Actually, I think that's, that's, that's fine. 0.16, 110. Um, yeah, I think 75 is good. Mm. All right, so we'll get some support. All right, so I want to go under support blocks. Support the blocks. Ooh. lines all right so I'll see you guys in eight hours now on the new one that we remixed very easily we can just push it in from the front and now if you want to change the ND filter we can do that very easily and then to remove we can just push from the back And there you go, this is a way better design.